Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere and you hopeful elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. All right, uh, this lesson is going to be dealing with uh, basically going into like a, a, a news and prophecy, the things that's inside the um, the news currently right now, uh, these different articles uh, showing you, all right, the times that we are in, we are living within the midst of prophecy. Uh, there's the prophecy of uh, the book of Amos 8 and 11. It's going to tie right into uh, with this article that I have, um, I just want to bring out just a little key point that's within it, you know, Lord willing not, not to make the lesson too long, but kind of straight to the point. But uh, this is from the naturalnews.com. Uh, says DHS, which, you know, stands for the Department of Homeland Security. Okay, so it says DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, to use AI to target and discriminate against internet users and reroute traffic from independent media outlets. Okay, so the way uh, that the Homeland Security, uh, or the, the, the Department of Homeland Security, all right, they're intentionally, you know, trying to use this AI, okay, to target all right, and to discriminate against certain uh, people, all right, based off the things of what they're looking up, the things of what they're uh, looking at, okay, and they're trying to reroute their traffic, okay, of the things of what they're looking at, okay, to fit their uh, their norm. You have different uh, media outlets, uh, such as you have Odyssey, you know, you have this this news. Uh, alternative news going into naturalnews.com as well uh you have a uh man what's the other one you have bit you you know you have rumble you know and it's, it's countless other ones out there okay and this ai okay is, is is growing more and more and more okay each day all right it's learning more all right it's it's targeting more and this is ultimately coming uh, to the way of the famine of the word. All right, so let's go ahead and just get a couple scriptures right quick and then we'll jump into the article. It says, nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, okay, the signs, all right, this is the times that we're in, all right, the times in the, in the midst of prophecy, okay? It says, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number and the way of truth shall be hidden. Okay, and this is the point. The way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith. We're coming into these times right now. All right, we're living within these times right now. All right, the truth is going to be hidden, okay, away from the masses, away from you, you Israelites. All right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. Okay, and the, the, hey, right now the land is barren. Okay, barren of, of faith. All right, going into, you know, when you look at the rest of the Israelites, you look at our people. All right, this is how they're going to be taken, okay? They're going to be taken in a great number, man. Caught by surprise, all right? Caught uh, uh, off guard, all right? Many of them going to uh, 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 witness much death, and many of them are going to uh, 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 a, a receive the fruit of their doings and, and going into uh, much death. The sword coming in, all right, like a flood, okay? Esau in, Esau Edom coming in like a flood, all right, coming and all right, and, to de and destroying those, all right, the ones who don't believe, okay? This is the time, we're living in the time of prophecy, and it, hey, it's out here that this AI, okay, is, 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 is getting ready, it's, it's getting ready to get to the point to where they're getting ready to shut this whole internet down, man. And it's, it's all a part of what? Their new system that they're trying to bring in. They need to have all the information, all right, from this old current age, all right, to flee. All right, it says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest 
or thou or that thou has heard long ago all right then the, the the intensity of 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 what's about to come when people don't have the truth it's going to be much great confusion i just did a video video on this a couple of days ago all right going into it's going to be much confusion it's going to be so much confusion out here because there's not going to be any guidance for the people it's going to be hid away from them this is the book of amos 8 and verse 11 amos 8 and 11. behold the days come said the lord power that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water all right so when you look at a famine um it may not even look it up i mean we gotta look it up i'm gonna make it straight to the point but uh going into a famine you know a famine doesn't come you know just the next day no it's a it's a series of time a series of events that has to happen in order, in order for that famine to come that drought to come all right and we've been seeing it by the way of how esau edom has it with the algorithms with youtube okay many brothers got their videos cut many brothers have gotten their um uh channels cut as well okay because back then we used to get strikes and to the point to where your whole channel leaves but now it gets to the point to esau esau he just takes down the video takes it down just takes it off and it says it doesn't apply uh, uh within their guidelines all right so sooner or later it's the ai is it's, it's taking over all right the, the point of the internet all right because now it needs to have censorship okay and it's all the the, the doings of yahweh bashim yahweh showing you that what we're living in the midst of prophecy it says behold the days come said the lord power that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water and i don't know if i mentioned the point going into you know it's a series of events a series of time to the point to where it's taken off little by little by little until one day that that famine that drought comes okay and to where you can't get anything at that point that's why you got to store up your goods store up your uh your treasures what in heaven as the scripture says it says nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of the lord see the lord's getting ready to to hide his men the way of truth is about to be hidden you're not going to be able to get this truth anymore once the lord remove his men from all the highways and hedges it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. You see, the people are not going to be able to find the truth. OK, the Lord deliberately uh, uh, got it to the point to where they're not going to see this truth. OK, they're going to be trying to run, try to find the men of the Lord, to try to try to find the prophets. It's going to be too late, man. So let's get into the article. I just wanted to bring out maybe like one, maybe two paragraphs. But here it is. Um, let's read it again. The title. DHS going into the Department of Homeland Security to use AI to target and to discriminate against Internet users and reroute traffic from independent media outlets. So we're reading down. It says speculations are swirling around the Internet that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, DHS, will soon require a lockdown of the internet, followed by a limited access control access internet where only approved sites can be accessed. You know, you're not gonna be able to get on these other different alternative uh, routes, uh, you know, to, to, to find out what's truly going on in, in the earth. Okay, because once Esau cuts this and then you don't have the truth, you're going to be in a state of confusion when everything comes to pass. It says, however, other analysis are theorizing that the North American Internet will not be shut down, but just change the pathways using their public private partnerships with social media and big tech with claims of protecting national security. See, they all going to be working in coops together. All right. So either way of these different scenarios is a way of the family of the word. You're not going to be able to receive or even to click on any of these videos anymore. 
you're not gonna be able to wait to even see these videos the AI is gonna take it off or it may get into a point to where you're not gonna be able to click on a video because you have no access to it you understand so different ways is, is happening okay for this family of the word to hit um let me go down a little bit uh let me see let me see uh let me see let me see let me see let me see down where was i where was i okay let me get right here it says if the word oh uh let me get right here to the point i'll start off here it says moreover the artificial intelligence component of the internet surveillance system has been planned to be launched toward the end of this year the dhs has just announced exactly that the independent outlet also indicated a dhs memo was issued on august 8th but not published for the general public until september 15th dhs will not use ai to improperly profile target or to discriminate against any individual or entity based on the individual characteristic identified above as <clears throat> reprisal or solely because of exercising their constitutional rights dhs will not use ai technology to enable improper systematic or systemic indiscriminate or large-scale monitoring, surveillance, or tracking, or individuals, it included. Okay? And this is just, you know, a point of what they're saying. But it says, if the word improper is taken out of the text. Now you can see what they're trying to truly say. DHS is blatantly admitting that it uses AI to profile, target, and to discriminate against internet users. Showing you what? The power of this AI, what's getting ready to come. It says in the second sentence, DHS admitted to currently participating in systemic and discriminate and, and or large scale monitoring surveillance or tracking of individuals. All right, and this is what they doing. Track, uh, what they tag, track and trace. Uh, I forgot which, uh, cause they have different agendas out and different, uh, you know executive orders and, and things in that nature and it's all aligning okay with uh, uh prophecy all these different agendas and these different laws that esau puts in place it's all gearing towards prophecy showing you that what we're living within the midst of it uh it says the only thing those sentences in the paragraph were trying to imply was that dhs will not allow ai to create improper outcomes within a system they outlined that already exists okay you know esau his little crafty words all right so basically he's telling you that they, they're getting ready to in uh to, to to uh criminate all right they're getting ready to have large scale monitoring surveillance and tracking of individuals they already have that in place you understand it's already in place so it's getting to the point to where esau is going to target certain people certain individuals the, the extremists the things of uh, these truth seekers and hey, everything is getting tallied up right now and everything is getting to the point to where it's going to either the the system the internet is going to have to go down okay or what they're going to have to cut the pathway of what you've been watching all right and to di redirect you to somewhere else all right showing you what the family of the word is is going to be here what's that the scriptures talk about the salt waters um i believe that's the next i think i believe that's the next one in second is your six let me see salt water should be found in the suite here it is it's the book of second Ezra, chapter five and verse nine and salt water shall be found in the sweet and all friends shall destroy one another then shall wit hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber you're not going to be able to get this truth anymore okay the lord is getting ready to remove all the understanding and bring it back unto himself and keep the understanding with his men 
all right the way of truth is gonna be hidden away from a lot of you people man because y'all playing around y'all playing around um let me just get one more quick scripture and then that's it man we can close out what's that john 17 for the john 14. let me see nah john 14. John 14 and uh 17. Yeah. This is the point. I didn't want to bring it out from earlier. But it says, uh, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. You see, the truth is right here, right in front of your faces. You see us on the highways and hedges, you see us on the on different platforms. You got even the other people of the world. The Lord said he was going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. The Lord is putting everything out there in the, in the limelight. And it's for the, uh, and if you are a, a part of the elect, the Lord is going to give you towards all right, the right men. The scripture says in Isaiah 30th that what? Uh, that your teachers, uh, you shall see your teachers and your teachers shall not be hid anymore. Okay. For the time being, but it's going to come to a point to where your eyes is not going to see the teachers no more. You're not going to hear the teachers no more. It's going to be taken away from you. It says, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. That's why the word has to be within you. Yahweh Shem Yahweh has to be within you. All right? Because when, when it gets cut, that's it. That's it. And the world, no one's not going to be able to receive it. Not the world of Israelites, not the world and going into the uh, the inhabitant earth and the orca many. It, not, none of that. It's, it's, you're not going to be able to receive. You're not going to be able to, to, to get this truth. So you got to get this truth while you can because it's getting to the point to where, A, <laughs> Esau's working. All right, and it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's putting the spirit on him, all right, to carry out these different policies. Okay, leading up unto the famine of the word. So, a hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere, and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, my fellow servant, Malakia, Shalom.